With update 8.1, signal spam has finally been screeched to a halt, meaning combat can return to the way it was back when I started playing Vigor in that you had to understand how combat flowed. So that is going to be what this video talks about. I'm going to be talking about a particular part on Fist Fabrique, how the combat works in this area, why it works this way, and how understanding this can help you either get into more firefights if you're an aggressive type player like I am, or less firefights if you're a looter based player, and really also just give you a general understanding of how this area of map design works. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into this. So first let's clarify what part of the map I'm talking about. I'm talking about the northwestern coast, or the area that surrounds the western settlement POI. I'm choosing this area because I feel like it's the perfect way to define how flow and combat lanes work, because it's the most simple one on Fisk. There are other better examples and more interesting examples, but for now, let's go with this one. So what exactly is in this area? Well, as I already said, it's really not that interesting. You have a couple of buildings, one safe spawn, and a phone. Not too much to really work with. While its loot isn't half bad, and there are several spawns here, it's not something that many people are going to be flocking to. However, I still think it is a good choice for us to choose so I can walk through really how flow works. So, let's get to that. First things first, let's talk about outward flow. So, as I said, this area is not very appealing to the player. While buildings are cool and safe is also cool, not many people are going to be flocking halfway across the map to get to here. So, where are people going? Well, from this location, you have three separate options on where you can go. You can head north and begin heading up the northern coast to an area that may lead to another safe spawn and another player spawn. You can go through the tunnel, which is the fastest and most efficient way, but tunnel combat is really not everyone's cup of tea. And you can go southeast, which will take you along to the center ridge, but that's also not great if you're not a fan of mountain combat. All in all, most players are going to be heading east to get out of this area, simply because of the fact there's not enough of a reason to stay here when you spawn. You may hit safe very quickly, but you're very likely to move out of this region almost as soon as, you know, the two to three minute mark hits. Due to that, we can move on to the next thing. Why are, what are people really going to be looking like in this area by the end of the map? Well, if you get a northern airdrop spawn, the airdrop that spawns on the northern coast, or if you get the airdrop that spawns on the center, on the center ridge, there is a chance that players may push into this region to escape out the western exit that's at the end of this region. In that situation, all players would funnel down from these regions out towards the exit. So as I said, it's very simple, this region, on how combat's moving in and out. Early match people are leaving this area. At the end of the match, under particular situations, people are coming into this region so they can extract. There is no, you know, complex side routes, None of that. This is a simple route. There's only one last thing to talk about, and that's all possible movement. There really isn't a lot of movement here, as I'm sure you've gathered already. Again, simple area. But there's two particular areas of movement that are worth mentioning. I mean, we have a lot of movement on this map that's simply just moving into, you know, small clusters of houses or, you know, walking up garages and stuff. But the two points of movement that are particularly interesting is if you head north towards the northern coast but then bank west there is a small little house that has some loot in it it's not particularly important to anything though so it's not considered combat flow and then secondly you can move south onto the southern road but i think it's universally agreed among almost all players that the southwest road you know the, the road that goes from south uh, the northwestern coast all the way south towards the center of the map isn't used by anyone because there's no POI, no loot, or really any reason to go on that road because it's also wide open like fields and stuff that's easy to get camped on. Um, so while it's an option that you can move out that way, you're really not going to be, and I don't really know why any player who's you know aware of the situation would do that. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this video. And if you didn't, uh, I hope at least the concept of combat wings is something you'll start to look for and be like, oh, you know, maybe instead of pushing down that southern road and, and going down southwest, maybe I should push east where there's actually going to be combat and there's actually going to be people. And if I'm a looter or something, I don't want to get in any combat. You know, I hit these houses here and then I just try to avoid going east. Maybe I go that down that southwestern road I just said is not very good. But this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.